Chapter 581, Jade Slip and the Secret Method When Lu Xu received the admission letter, it was as if he had achieved satisfaction in life. Lu Xu had won this round, while Nye Ting had no choice but to step back and allow him to go to school. Ha! <laughs> ha! If Nye Ting had known that it would come to this, there would have been no use ignoring Lu Xu's calls and disappearing. He wouldn't even let Lu Xu go to the Luo Xin Cultivation College over his dead body. Nye Ting glanced at Lu Xu, who was visibly bubbling with happiness. His expression darkened. Since I have given you admission, I hope that you will not waste this opportunity to study. He felt that it was good to let Lu Xu to go school. After all, the cultivation colleges would have their own respective intelligence courses. If Lu Xu had a change of heart and decided to go overseas, these courses would benefit him. Lu Xu recovered from his euphoria. He did not hear what Nye Ting had said. Please pardon me. Nye Ting was silent. From Nye Ting's distress, plus 666. Shi Xue Jin, who was sitting at the side, painfully looked on. He quickly changed the subject. Lu Xu, where did Hai Gongzi go? A place where he won't be able to get out of so quickly. There is no need to worry. Lu Xu waved with indifference. He needs proper treatment. If not, he will always see others as inferior to him. So that's what happened. Shi Xue Jin carefully phrased his words. Consider his past contributions to the human race. Could you give him a chance? Lu Xu was unhappy. Shi Xue Jin had never talked about Hai Gongzi's contributions. I have also contributed to the Heavenly Network, but I have never seen you give me a chance. Nye Ting said coldly, although Hai Gongzi is arrogant, he will not attack his owner out of his own initiative. You should also reflect whether you have done anything wrong. Shi Xue Jin chimed in, yes, yes, you have to engage in self-introspection multiple times every day. Ha! Ha! Lu Xu laughed coldly. He was indeed in the wrong. After all, it was not very appropriate to make a five-to-lone panlong squat on the ground and pick up beans. But he could not lose. You have to engage in self-introspection multiple times every day. But is that you too polite? Is that you giving him face? Shouldn't the you take action? Hurry up. Where is Hai Gongzi? Nye Ting could not stand it anymore. Hai Gongzi was indebted to his teacher. Furthermore, he had sacrificed himself for the human race. Nye Ting could not allow Hai Gongzi to suffer in Lu Xu's hands. Earlier, when he and Shi Xue Jin saw Lu Xu badly battered, they were silently happy. They did not give the Cheng Ying sword to the wrong person. But now, they were panicking, they could not panic. They did not even know where Hai Gongzi had been sent. Shi Xue Jin looked at Lu Xu, who was laughing coldly but did not speak. He said, How about this? I will teach you a secret method to recall Hai Gongzi in the Cheng Ying sword. In the future, if you do not wish to see him, you can make him return to the sword. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. So all along, there was a secret method to recall a sword spirit? And I was never informed? Shouldn't this information come along with the Cheng Ying sword? What are you hiding, old man? Ahem, Shi Xue Jin looked visibly awkward. Do you want to learn the secret method? Yes, how could I not know? Lu Xu said. Shi Xue Jin took out a small jade slip from the house. The jade slip seemed to be from the ancient times. Put your magical instincts into this jade slip. Thereafter, you will learn the secret method. Lu Xu was somewhat skeptical. He took the jade slip and did as Shi Xue Jin said. There were no markings or words on the jade slip, only faint energy being emitted from it. The moment his magical instincts came into contact with that energy, he understood how to recall the Cheng Ying sword spirit. Wait. Lu Xu went into his room and locked the door. He took out the black pearl and entered the chaos abyss. Nye Ting raised his eyebrows. His breath has completely disappeared. 
It is as if he has gone to another world. Shi Shuajin was astonished. Are you saying that he has gained access into a relic? Probably. It was dark and gloomy in the Chaos Abyss. Ming Yue had been trapped here for so long that he had seemingly forgotten about the time. Someone had finally come to accompany him, but he was not quite normal either. Now, Ming Yue's greatest pastime was watching Hai Gongzi pick up green beans. It was very hypnotizing. 4491, 4492, 4493, Hai Gongzi counted as he picked up the green beans. This was much better than counting sheep. Suddenly, a wave rippled in the chaos abyss and Lu Xu appeared out of thin air. Hai Gongzi stood up straight and coldly looked at Lu Xu. Give me a bag. Stop picking up the green beans. Nye Ting and Shi Shua Jin asked me to bring you out, said Lu Xu. This was an act. Hai Gongzi furrowed his eyebrows. Nothing will happen to me even if I am here for 10,000 years. You are the one who has to be careful. If I am not in the Chunging Sword, it will fall apart in less than a year. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. He did not know about this. Because you have a symbiotic relationship with the sword? I am the Changying's guardian. It needs me to absorb magical energy from the earth to support it. Hai Gongzi laughed coldly. I can absorb magical energy to support myself. But if the Cheng Ying sword breaks, don't come crying to me. Stop this nonsense. Lu Xu started to laugh coldly as well. You're talking as if you don't need the Cheng Ying sword either. I don't believe you can go anywhere once the sword breaks. Even a three-year-old could say things like this. Let's go. I'll bring you out. Lu Xu activated his secret method. Hai Gongzi suddenly felt a pulling force from the Cheng Ying sword, dragging him in. This contract between the weapon and its weapon spirit surpassed the boundaries of strength. Even Hai Gongzi could not resist this force. Hai Gongzi did not think that Lu Xu would have mastered this skill. His expression changed. Wait, I have not finished picking up the beans. 4493. Let me have a nice number. But Lu Xu did not give him the chance to do so. After he recalled Hai Gongzi into the Cheng Ying sword, he escaped from the Chaos Abyss. From Ao Hai's distress, plus 999. Lu Xu felt that he still had a long way to go before he could reconcile with Hai Gongzi. But it did not matter. He still had a lot of time. Nye Ting sensed that Lu Xu had returned. He said to Shi Shua Jin in a low voice, he's back. I don't know how he got access to the world and the relic. Why can't I access the world and the Xian Ting sword? There are many strange places within the relics. Take it easy. Shi Shua Jin sighed. Why don't you ask Lu Xu? Nye Ting was silent. I think I will explore on my own. When Shi Shua Jin heard this, he understood that the conflict between Ye Ting and Lu Xu was still not over. When Lu Xu came outside, Shi Shua Jin looked at Lu Xu. Where is Hai Gongzi? I can only be at ease if I see him with my own eyes. Lu Xu laughed buoyantly. Are you not at ease with me? Shi Shua Jin was dumbfounded. Where did your courage come from? Saying things like that. You were the last person to make people feel relieved. From Shi Shua Jin's distress, plus 199. Chapter 582, Too Early to Be Happy Lu Xu saw that Shi Shua Jin and Ye Ting did not believe him. Oh well. He used the Cheng Ying sword to pierce his finger and summoned Hai Gongzi. It seemed like this wound on his finger would never fully heal. Hai Gongzi saw Ye Ting and laughed. I did not expect that you would grow up so quickly. Very good. But I cannot understand why the Cheng Ying sword would be in the hands of this young boy. Young people now are so superficial. Back in the day. Before Hai Gongzi could finish speaking, Lu Xu recalled him into the Cheng Ying sword. What are you acting for? 
back in the day? Don't play around with me. Nia Ting was silent. Sure Shua Jin was speechless. From Ao Hai's distress, plus 999. From Nia Ting's distress. From Sure Shua Jin's. Nia Ting calmly said, I think I know why you were beat up by Hai Gongzi. Lu Shu was suddenly somewhat curious. Can you defeat Hai Gongzi? Nia Ting was silent. I don't know. That can't be right. I have a feeling that you had been beaten up by him when you were young. Am I right? Lu Xu felt that he was one step closer to the truth. Hurry up and pass the admission letter to Zhang Yutong. Nia Ting turned and left. I am going to Lu Jing Lane. I will have my dinner at the canteen. Okay, Shi Shua Jin smiled in agreement. He sat back on his sling chair and started to read. The two of them acted as if Lu Xu did not exist. This meant that they were preparing to send him off. Lu Xu glanced at Shi Shua Jin. I heard that you are determined to be well versed in the three teachings. But with so many books and so many teachings, can you, an ordinary person, possibly finish reading everything? Shi Shua Jin leisurely smiled. The truth has no limits, but there is no need to be afraid. There is also joy in every step of learning. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. That is very meaningful. You are a wise man. I didn't come up with that. Shi Shua Jin lay on the sling chair. In a blink of an eye, he was fully immersed in his book. Lu Xu took a train to Yuzhou. The first thing he did was to find Zhong Yutong. The Heavenly Network Yuzhou headquarters was at the provincial capital. Before the new year, the country's biggest black market had been established in Luo City. Furthermore the Luoshan College, one of the seven major cultivation colleges, was there. Thus, Zhang Yutong had requested to move the headquarters above the Luoshan Cultivation College. Luo City had always been one of the places with the highest concentrations of magical energy. To the Heavenly Network, it was also relatively important. Back then, Li Yixiao had been chosen to take control of Luo City precisely because of its importance. Furthermore, Shi Shua Jin had correctly guessed that there was more than just one relic in Luo City. The relic on Beimang Mountain had appeared. But there was still magical energy contained in the extreme depths of Longmen Mountain. If the Seal of Lands had not been taken, Shi Shua Jin and Ye Ting would have probably deployed people to find a way to open the relics. Now, they knew that the Seal of Lands was in Lu Xu's hands, they did not say a single word about it. They were very worried that Lu Xu would come up with some mischief and abandon the relics. Lu Xu came to the Luoshan Cultivation College. He was quite familiar with this place. Many of the students had never come here before, but Lu Xu often passed by the college. Whenever Li Xiao wanted to convince him to go overseas with him, he would invite him for a meal. Out of the five times Lu Xu had come, he had accidentally helped Nalan K find Li Xiao's private savings three times. Thus, Nalan K warmly welcomed Lu Xu. She treated Lu Xu like a close friend. Lu Xu stood at the office building of the Luoshan Cultivation College and hesitated. He had not come in from the main gate. Instead, he had quietly climbed over the wall behind the building. After he had reached Zhang Yutong's office, he carefully peeked through the window. He placed one hand on the windowsill and used his other hand to fish out his phone from his pocket. He gave Zhang Yutong a call. Sorry, the number you are dialing is unavailable. Please try again later. Lu Xu looked inside the office. Zhang Yutong was arranging his documents. His phone, which was by his side, was ringing. Evidently, Lu Xu's call had gone through. Ha! Ha! Be that way. Lu Xu laughed coldly. Zhang Yutong was still unaware of the situation. He picked up his phone and saw that Lu Xu was calling him. He smiled and prepared to place his phone on the table. At that moment, Zhang Yutong suddenly felt that something was wrong. He turned to look at the window. 
To his surprise, he saw Lu Xu laughing coldly at him. What? Zhong Yutong almost threw his phone at Lu Xu. Why are you here? From Zhong Yutong's distress, plus 666. Lu Xu pushed open the window and jumped in. Ha! Ha! Your ringtone is not bad. What? I don't understand what you're saying? Zhang Yutong looked outside the window. Lu Xu did not pester Zhang Yutong any further. He slammed the admission letter from Ye Ting on Zhang Yutong's table. Do what you have to do. When Zhang Yutong saw this piece of paper, for some reason, he felt happy. It was as if he had been relieved of a heavy load. Ordinary students, and even ordinary members of the Heavenly Network, did not know Lu Xu's current identity. But Zhong Yutong was very clear. The dispute between Lu Xu and Ye Ting was on another level. He did not dare to provoke any of them. Ha! Ha! I'll settle this for you. Zhong Yutong felt as if a ray of light had broken through the stormy clouds. Tomorrow, I will assign a reserved car to bring you to the military camp for training. How about it? Lu Xu calmly looked at Zhang Yutong. I am not participating in the military training. Didn't I tell Shifei? I have participated in the training before. Even the class aptitude geniuses went for military training after completing their tasks. Zhang Yutong was dumbfounded. He said, they have participated in the training as well. You still have to go a second time. They are them and I am me, said Lu Xu calmly. He had gone to dangerous places like the Cocheng Island remains and the collection of gods. To speak the truth, the military training had no substantial content for him. As for basic training for military strategies, Lu Xu felt that his strategy was to go with the flow. Other strategies did not work for him. It seemed like that always happened. All his carefully prepared plans would fall apart or be destroyed by others. But if he went with the flow, it always worked with extraordinary efficacy. That will not do. This military training will be recorded as part of your assessment. Zhang Yutong panicked. In the future, there will be a competition among the seven major cultivation colleges. You won't be able to participate without that record. Zhang Yutong was the principal of the Luoshan Cultivation College. Nie Ting did not let Li Xiao be the principal. Furthermore, it seemed like there was a competition among the seven major cultivation colleges. Of course, Zhang Yutong was happy to have strong students like Lu Xu in his school. How many students in the country could defeat Lu Xu? But here was Lu Xu, why was he not following the script from the very beginning? Lu Xu turned and left. Forget about it. I won't participate. From Zhong Yutong's distress, plus 666. He suddenly realized one problem. Although he was no longer in the middle of the conflict between Lu Xu and Ye Ting, but in the future, he would have to deal with Lu Xu. He was not easy to deal with. Was it too early for him to be happy? Chapter 583 Trade Caravan Lu Xu bumped into Shi Fei on his way down. Shi Fei was visibly shocked. Since when were you here? How did I not see you? Ha! Ha! Lu Xu tried to change the subject. After all, he had climbed through the window to reach the seventh floor. If Shi Fei saw him at the main gate, it was most likely a ghost. I have received special permission to enter the cultivation college. It looks like we won't be colleagues for now. How regretful. Let's work together in the future if we have the chance. No regrets, no regrets. Shi Fei laughed loudly. Um. Shi Fei realized that he had said something wrong. He quickly explained, how can this be a regret? It's great that you managed to get into Luo City Cultivation College. I am happy for you. How is that regretful? Okay. Go do what you have to do. Lu Xu patted Shi Fei's shoulder and walked out. 
As he passed by the gates of the Cultivation College, he saw Li Xiao and Nailin Kei holding hands as they walked in. Seeing them hold hands as they walked made Lu Xu cringe. Li Xiao saw Lu Xu and smiled. Lu Xu, you're back. I was trying to find you on New Year's Eve, but you weren't at home. Where did you go? Lu Xu was happy. Come, let's go to your house to discuss some things. Li Xiao's expression suddenly changed. Let's talk here instead. How could you? Nailin Kei was unhappy. Let Xiao Xu go to your house for a chat. I want to bask in the sun here, Li Xiao said resolutely. Lu Xu smacked his lips and looked at the dark clouds overhead. In a few months, the Cultivation College will welcome 10,000 students from the Daoyuan class. Is it possible to invest in a hotel at the Lu village? Or if that is too expensive, can we build an inn or something else instead? Lu Xu had this on his mind for a very long time. The land that they had secured was no more than 700 meters away from the Luoshan Cultivation College. They would definitely have steady earnings if they built an inn there. After all, the Luoshan Cultivation College was not completely closed off. The students also had to go out to fulfill their needs. Li Xiao suddenly said, I had just wanted to talk to you about this. The Lu village manager has been thinking about doing so. The cement, sand, bricks and other construction materials have been transported over. I see that you have thought carefully about this. Lu Xu nodded his head. This also counts as a business. Anyway, we are all from the Heavenly Network. It is easier to gain approval. Nalan K said, you are both greenhorns when it comes to things like this. Leave it to me. Let my family settle the budget. They can carry out the plan. Nalan K did this not just for Li Xiao's sake. It was because when the Nalan family worked with Li Xiao and Lu Xu, they did not make any big losses. Nalan K gave the money Lu Xu returned her to her family. The Nalan family wanted to associate with Lu Xu. After all, there was no eternal hate, only eternal benefits. The Nalan family passed the judgment that Lu Xu would hold an important position in the Heavenly Network in the future. There was no harm in investing in friendly relations with him now. As for Li Xiao, forget about it. Nalan Kei's mother still felt that Li Xiao's and Nalan Kei's horoscopes clashed. Now that Nalan Kei had grown up, she did not care about this. All her relatives could do was ignore Li Xiao. But they did not seem quite happy about this. Lu Xu returned home. He was happy to let the Nalan family settle this matter. It was best to leave this to the experts. Now, Lu Xu could be one step ahead of others in his training. But as for the construction of the inn, he did not know where to start. That night, Nalan Kei's relatives in Luo City started work. Some earth element metahuman had even finished digging the foundation for the inn. The Nalan family had never talked about money with Lu Xu. It was as if Lei Fengwan had reappeared. They did not hide the fact that they were trying to win Lu Xu over to their side. At the same time, when Lu Xu was looking through the Golden Foundation Forum, he realized that while China was celebrating the new year, the activities overseas had not ceased. A relic had opened in South America, but the Heavenly Network did not get involved. On the contrary, practitioners from all over the world started to make their move. Lu Xu could not find any more information on the Golden Foundation Forum. But he realized that the Heavenly Network phone that Yu Mingyu had given him at first was able to receive a lot of overseas information. He even asked Li Xiao whether he had received any of this information. Li Xiao's answer was negative, he did not receive anything. Lu Xu realized that Nye Ting did so to maintain his attention towards overseas affairs. This meant that Nye Ting had not given up on his intention to make Lu Xu go overseas. Li Xiao, a heavenly king, did not receive anything. There would be a problem if he did. The information revealed that the heavenly network did not participate in the opening of the relic in South America as the Heavenly Network had not infiltrated South America. An organization had its limits. 
it could only pay attention to more important areas, for example Japan, North America, Europe, and Southeast Asia. They would concentrate their resources and manpower into these areas. As for less important areas like South America and Australia, they could only leave it aside for now. The next day, Lu Xu received a call from Yu Mingyu to retrieve something from the black market. Yu Mingyu said that it was from the capital. Lu Xu hung up the phone and pondered about it. It was as if he had found a way to get closer to the core of the heavenly network. Nia Ting no longer forced him out. On the other hand, he was gently and mildly allowing him to access information about the core of the organization. This allowed him to slowly approach the core of the heavenly network. Lu Xu was open to persuasion, but not to coercion. If Nia Ting forced him to go overseas, Lu Xu would definitely not agree. But if Nia Ting used a gentler approach, giving him information, goods and even special admittance into the cultivation college, Lu Xu felt somewhat bad. Could the conflict between him and Nia Ting be brought to a temporary close? Lu Xu felt that this was not bad. A harmonious society where harmony is prized was good. Lu Xu came to the black market and saw Yu Mingyu in his office, talking to some of the leaders of the secret practitioner groups. He eavesdropped on their conservation. Yu Mingyu said, When our men come, go out with your backpackers. Remember, listen to all the commands. If there is someone dangerous, inform us. If people rob you, we will bring you to rob them. But if this leaks out, I will not admit it. Also, if others do not make a move, don't make a move and create trouble. Do you understand? The secret practitioners smiled and nodded. The biggest problem with these backpackers buying magical stones overseas was their safety. The places they were going to did not have peace and prosperity. There were many people who would kill for a magical stone. Everyone knew that the Heavenly Network had accepted the black market. This was a tacit understanding. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. The officials protected those who were going overseas to seize training materials. Looking at these secret practitioners, they were in the early stages of forming a trade caravan. Footnotes CH 583 Footnote 1 A soldier in the People's Liberation Army who was characterized as a selfless and modest person. Chapter 584 Revisiting the Darkness Kingdom Yu Mingyu talked with the secret practitioners for a full two hours. After their meeting, the secret practitioners walked out of the room. When they saw Lu Xu, they each respectfully greeted Lu Xu. Greetings, the Venerable. Go do what you have to do. Lu Xu nodded his head. The secret practitioners in this black market who did not know Yu Mingyu, the Lord, and the Venerable, were likely new to the black market. The veterans in the Route 301 black market knew one thing. They could not provoke these three people. The Lord loved to covet small advantages, but had no ill intentions. The Venerable was often buoyant, but his words pierced the heart. Yu Mingyu seemed weak, but had murderous intent behind his smile. When some new secret practitioners heard about this, they held their chest in shock. Pierce the heart. How? A group of people by the side started laughing. He doesn't literally pierce your heart. It means that his words are often quite harsh. Oh, the new practitioner heaved a sigh of relief. He had thought that the Route 301 black market was dangerous. There was even someone who liked to go around piercing other people's hearts. But it seemed like that was not the case. After the meeting, a group of secret practitioners ran to the toilet. Yu Mingyu followed closely behind them. This was the problem with meetings in the country. Meetings often lasted for two long hours. There were even meetings that lasted for a whole day. You had to have a strong bladder if you wanted to sit through everything. Lu Xu also felt like going to the toilet after waiting for so long. He did not plan to make use of his water-type abilities to earn distress points. After all, Yu Mingyu knew that he possessed such abilities. He could not be too obvious while making use of them. A group of people stood at the urinal, chatting as they went about their business. 
After they were done, they shook the remaining drops of urine off. But they all looked on helplessly as Yu Mingyu took out a piece of toilet paper from his pocket and wiped. Lu Xu was confused. Was he so delicate? The group of secret practitioners stood by Yu Mingyu. They could only stand in silence. Yu Mingyu acted as if nothing had happened. He shouted to Lu Xu, let's go. The thing I need to pass to you is still in my office. The secret practitioners could finally heave a sigh of relief after Yu Mingyu left. Lu Xu waited until there was no one around them before asking, is it from Heavenly King Nya? It's from Heavenly King Sure. It's a USB, said Yu Mingyu. He returned to his office and opened the safe. He retrieved a USB from inside the safe and passed it to Lu Xu. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. It looked exactly like the USB he got from Anthony. Yu Mingyu said, this is the secret key to access the darkness kingdom. Each USB corresponds to one identity. We got our hands on this USB from an intelligence agent, so have no worries using it. As he spoke, Yu Mingyu passed a document to Lu Xu. This contains information regarding that person's identity. After all, the USB is connected to the person's identity. It would be best if you are familiar with it. He is not active in the darkness kingdom, but there will be people who will recognize his ID. Lu Xu took out the document from the folder. He took a look and felt that something was wrong. There was something unique about this information. The person was as tall as Lu Xu, and his face shape was similar to that of Lu Xu's. He was an overseas Chinese businessman and secret practitioner called Li Tang. He sold low-end information from within the country overseas. In reality, spies were not as lofty as they were depicted in movies. They could make money just selling a picture or a sentence. Even information regarding the country's commodity prices could be exchanged for money. Lu Xu looked at the information and asked, Do outsiders not know that he has been captured by the Heavenly Network? Yu Mingyu laughed. Looks like you already know. But Heavenly King Shi did not give me any other instructions, nor did he assign you any tasks. Got it. Lu Xu realized that the Heavenly Network had done most of the preparations for him. As long as he was willing to do it, he could start immediately. Actually, have you considered this before? We are connected to many people when we carry out work overseas. There is a chance that if one prospers, everyone prospers, but if one suffers, everyone suffers. Perhaps someone will die because of one of your decisions. But if we approach it from another angle, the stronger the person in this role, the fewer the people who will be sacrificed. Yu Mingyu softly said, the task will not change. If you and I do not go, someone else will go, because that is our mission. But if an expert like you takes on the task, you would be able to save a few lives that would otherwise be sacrificed. Am I right? Yes. I'll take my leave first. Lu Xu turned and walked away while waving. Goodbye. Yu Mingyu stood behind Lu Xu in silence. He could understand what Lu Xu was thinking. Back then, his colleague, who was a planted agent, was sacrificed in order to help Lu Xu obtain information. Yu Mingyu also felt very remorseful. It was easier said than done. No one could be completely cold-hearted while standing in that position. Lu Xu did not have a computer at home. After he received a new USB, he bought a laptop. When he plugged in the USB, the Darkness Kingdom website popped up automatically. Lu Xu had not seen this website for a long time. He first clicked on the trading page and found many strange items. All the items that the Darkness Kingdom officials had pinned on the page were fruits that could allow people to undergo awakenings. Some of the fruits were labeled to have awakening properties, while others were still unknown. Out of those whose awakening properties were known, the most common ones were still the elemental fruits. There were also a few unique ones, like lightning fruits. These fruits could only be exchanged with rare items. They did not accept cash or magical stones. From this, one would understand the large organization's attitude towards cash and magical stones when handling such first-rate items. 
Lu Xu browsed the demands of these vendors. Most demanded for rare items of equal value. Some even specifically requested for mythical objects with weapon spirits. He suddenly realized that he still had two fruits from the Salt Lake relics. Back then, he had lied that the plant produced refresher fruit in order to give Chin Bailey the refresher fruits. But in reality, this was not the case. He had awakened his water-type abilities after eating one of the fruits, but he did not eat the rest. The core of the fruit he had eaten was still in the seal of lands. All along, he had been hesitating whether he wanted to feed the fruits to Lu Xiaoyu. Back then, he had almost lost consciousness when the water-type abilities assimilated with him. This made Lu Xu understand that the fruit was not suitable for those with stronger abilities. One had to proceed in sequence when awakening other types of abilities. When he ate a Class C fruit, the water-type abilities were so powerful that they directly advanced to Class C. People usually went in the order of Class F, Class E, Class D and Class C, but Lu Xu had skipped these levels. Thus, his body could not bear the assimilation process. If he had eaten a Class B fruit, he probably would have died. Chapter 585, Lopner Remains after careful consideration, Lu Xu decided not to rashly give the fruits to Lu Xiaoyu. His near-death experience while undergoing the awakening remained fresh in his mind. He was somewhat traumatized. It was not impossible for him to sell the fruits. In reality, some big families bought fruits like these too. For some families, there was only one successor. Although the successor wanted to undergo an awakening, they did not have the ability to do so. Thus, they chose to do so with the aid of external tools. Awakening mainly depended on one's aptitude and class. Although some people did not undergo an awakening, there were cases where they advanced to class C after eating fruits. There was even one case where someone had advanced to class B through this method. This was also the reason why these fruits were in great demand. Although the big families controlled the world economy, they had no relation to the realm of cultivation. Their money could not be used to buy fruits. But these families likely had rare items whose magical properties were discovered after the magical era. There were many mythical objects and tools scattered in various places around the world. With the rise of the magical era, more and more of these items were discovered. Lu Xu felt that Lu Xiaoyu's strength was decent. There was no need to risk her life in order to undergo such an awakening. He felt that it was wiser to reserve one fruit for future use, and exchange the other fruit for a mythical object to give to Lu Xiaoyu. Lu Xiaoyu's ability to speak to animals could probably be her special ability. No one knew how this ability would advance in the future. Lu Xu looked at the higher section of the website. There were still many tasks posted on the page. It seemed like famous experts from around the world were being offered rewards. The Darkness Kingdom used the value of the rewards to determine the level of one's abilities. Those with higher rewards were more impressive. When people hired these experts, they would use the value of the rewards as an estimate to guide their quotes. It was said that during the dawn of the magical era, a Class C expert felt that the rewards he was offered were too low, thus he raised the quote of his rewards. When a veteran saw this, he was very happy. What a large reward for such a simple task. Thus, he killed the practitioner and got the reward. As a result, the name of this Class C expert became famous within the Darkness Kingdom. Since then, no one dared to boost their social class by increasing the value of their rewards. There were all kinds of fish in the sea. There were many idiotic metahumans as well. Dong dong dong. Lu Xu suddenly heard someone knocking on the door. He opened the door and saw Li Xiao and Nailin Quebec. He was dumbfounded. Is something the matter? Li Xiao held a bag of vegetables in his hand. He smiled and said, Aren't you lonely by yourself? We came here to make you a meal. We can just eat at your house too. Lu Xu laughed. Don't you have the slightest idea why I no longer allow you to come to my house? Li Xiao said angrily. 
Nailin Kei took the ingredients and walked into the kitchen, giving Li Xiao and Lu Xu room to talk. Li Xiao pulled Lu Xu over to the living room. Have you heard? No one from the Heavenly Network went to the South American ruins. We don't have enough manpower overseas. As patriotic members, how could we turn a blind eye to this? Lu Xu gave a cold laugh. Ha! Ha! Lu Xu realized that Li Xiao had come here to win his support. Mia Ting must have given Li Xiao an impressive reward to do so. Otherwise, Li Xiao would not want to be involved in this matter. But he did not expect Li Xiao to suddenly change the subject. Fine. I know you are not willing to do. Then you won't know that there are signs of the Lopner remains opening. Lopner. Lu Xu was silent. Lopner was in the southeast part of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. This place was often associated with a depopulated zone and an abnormal incident. There was also another name for this place. Lu Xu asked, Lulan Kingdom? Li Xiao shook his head. Lopner is very strange. No one knows if it is related to the Lulan Kingdom. It may be something else. Lu Xu nodded his head. He had previously researched on the place out of interest. After the mysterious disappearance of some explorers, their corpses were found kilometers away. Female corpses, dating back thousands of years ago, were found in perfect condition in some cemeteries. They found massive man-eating lizards in caves as well. There were many strange happenings there, some of which remained a mystery till present day. Reports of some incidents had been passed down incorrectly, causing them to become increasingly distorted. One could not arbitrarily say that the remains and the Lulan kingdom were related. It might be something else. Lu Xu's interest was piqued. He would not go overseas, but if the remains were in the country, why not take a look? They did not necessarily have to go to the remains to retrieve relics. After all, he could not go so far as to have a life-or-death fight with the heavenly kings. But the problem was, the items in the remains were not limited to just relics. Perhaps there would be a large volume of mystic water as well. People like Nalan K, who were not part of the heavenly network, could not explore these remains. Thus, Li Ishio immediately thought of cooperating with Lu Xu. At that moment, Li Ishiao received a call. Mia Ting said calmly over the phone, this time, Chen Bailey will take the lead. The rest of the Heavenly Kings will guard their original places. You are not allowed to leave your post without permission. The students from the cultivation colleges are heading towards Lop Nur. Only military training students whose abilities are above Class E may participate in this exploration. They will set off from the military camp. After he finished speaking, Nia Ting hung up. Li Xiao rigidly looked at Lu Xu. Looks like the two of us can't go. Lu Xu shook his head. You can't go, but I can. Li Xiao was dumbfounded. But you didn't make it in time for the cultivation college exam. But I received special permission from Nia Ting to go to school, said Lu Xu with a smile. From Li Xiao's distress, plus 666. Lu Xu immediately called Zhang Yutong. Hello, Zhang Yutong? I've thought about it. For things like the military training, everyone must be treated equally without discrimination. I can't say that just because I have participated before means that I can flaunt the rules and not take part in the training again. After a lot of consideration, I feel that not only do I have to participate, I also have to train my perseverance. Zhang Yutong was silent. From Zhang Yutong's distress, plus 666. Hello, Zhang Yutong? Are you listening? Lu Xu asked. Yes, Zhang Yutong had a headache. Hurry up and pack your things. Part of the group heading towards the ruins has already set off. If you rush to the military camp now, you can still make it in time for the last military truck. The remains are opening? Lu Xu looked very surprised. Look at you, don't I have to rush to the remains now? Ha! 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 
I'll go there and join in the fun. Zhang Yutong hung up without another word. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Last half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens 